Oh. We got back there. Oh, oh look at that. Hmm. Nativity. Simple enough, right? I mean, that word probably brings to mind something like this. Nativity is actually synonymous with birth, especially the place or circumstances of being born. Uh, but I'm guessing with most of us, when we hear nativity, what comes to mind is not the birth of the blues, for example. No, I'm guessing hearing nativity only brings to mind the birth of Jesus. This one. And being in the Christmas season, we thought it a good time to take a little closer look. So stick around. You might be surprised what you'll learn about the nativity on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. There are two biblical accounts of the birth of Jesus, one in the Gospel of Luke and the other in the Gospel of Matthew. Let's start with the book of Matthew. The wise men come from the east to Jerusalem saying they have seen his star and have come to worship the one who has been born King of the Jews. And as the Gospel states, the wise men followed the star to Bethlehem where they found the child with Mary. They worshiped him and offered their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, the Gospel according to Matthew is the only time the wise men are actually mentioned with regard to the birth of Jesus. But because of this, uh, the wise men became popular additions to the nativity scene that we remember best from the Gospel according to Luke. Often read on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning, Luke chapter 2 verses 8 through 20, perhaps exemplified with a resplendent major scene complete with Mary and Joseph with the baby Jesus and the shepherds and the wise men. Mary gave birth to her first son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. It's the nativity most familiar to us at Christmas time, the glorious birth of the one proclaimed by the angel of the Lord. For to you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. Glory to God in the highest. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to ask your pastor, tell them Chuck sent you. And from all of us here at Chuck Knows Church, we wish you a very, very Merry Christmas.